Well, woes of home buyers intensifying, but they are not sitting quietly, fighting back. The India Bulls Group has embarked on a restructuring exercise, and this begins with the company demerging its real estate business into two different entities, one for residential real estate and the other one dedicated purely to commercial real estate. CNBC TV team Sonia Shana and Kevin Lee find, find out just how India Bulls hopes to achieve through this demerger and what it will mean for their shareholders. Take a look. India Bulls has read the writing on the wall. While the Indian residential real estate space has been struggling for traction for the last five years, the commercial real estate space is not. This is because foreign money has been coming in and the government has been going out of its way to encourage developers to list via real estate investment trusts or REITs. These divergent trends have prompted India Bulls to go in for a restructuring of its real estate operations. The board had a meeting and we have approved the, de the restructuring of the existing business into commercial leasing as well as development for sale. For the commercial leasing business, we would be looking for either a strategic partner who comes in as an equity investment or we would demerge that business. Regardless of whether the company raises funds through private investors or the primary markets, there is no doubt that it is betting big on growth in commercial real estate. While the annuity revenues of the commercial business stand at a little under 700 crore rupees currently, this is expected to double in the next three years. And that's money the company will use to repay debt at the group level. The next three years, we will see this annuity income increase on, on account of rent escalations and also these four new properties that would contribute the balance taking us taking the entire annuity revenue to about 1357 crores in three fiscal years. Rental income aside, India Bulls is not averse to raising money through real estate investment trusts. It could even consider folding up those assets that are listed in the Singapore markets and relaunch them as an Indian REIT listing. Post a decision with the other investors uh, in Singapore, we would look at uh, we could look at REIT in India as well. There are so we are observing a lot of statutory changes in this uh, regard, and we would continue to look at the changes that happened with respect to stamp duty avoidance, etc., which will make a REIT listing in India more attractive. Experts say that with real estate giants like DLF and India Bulls going in for large-scale restructuring of their commercial businesses, with one eye firmly on REITs. Smaller companies with commercial portfolios may soon follow suit, meaning the Indian commercial real estate space is in for some interesting times. In Mumbai, with Sonia Shinoy, Kevin Lee.